Hi, it's Corrine for Cut It Home, and today I have a fun design team project to share with you. I use the Graphic 45 Craft Board Altered Art Matchbook Box, and this is in 8x8. Cut It Home also sells this in 12x12, and I have a fun project that I plan on using that for next month. These are so much fun to work with. You probably have seen in another video that I use the smaller matchbox, the, I believe it's 3x5. So they have this 8x8, they have the 3x5, the 12x12, they also have like mixed media boxes that I've used in other projects. And um, again, these are all by Graphic 45 from their Staples collection. So I'll put the links to these products in the description box below, along with Cut at Home's blog. There's lots more detail information on the blog and inspiration, so I hope you check that out. Again, the links will be in the description box below. And today I'd like to share this. I altered this um, 8x8. I did it, as you can see, for Halloween. I first painted the entire box black and you can use these to open they slide open like a, a matchbook um, but I'm leaving it closed just because there's you know so many 3d items in there so I gave it two coats of black and I love that these take paint so well you don't need to gesso them first and actually I probably could have gotten away with one coat of black but I thought two looked better I have a start to finish on this video if you'd like to see it I'll put that um, in this same video right after this. So on the front here I cut out some, I printed out and cut out some paper from the Cameo from my computer and I simply just measured this out and used the Cameo to cut it so it gave it a perfect cut. I used my silhouette quite a bit in this project and Cut It Home happens to have the new silhouette on sale really great price for pre-order so I'll put the link down in the description box um, for that if you've been on the fence on whether or not to get a cameo then you may want to get it now um, again it's for pre-order and it's a really great price so check that out on the side same thing I printed out my paper I use the same paper on all four sides and then I used a damask on the back and just again cut this out from the cameo. Here I cut this out from the cameo. I got this from um, Silhouette Online Store. It says Witch's Brew and it has a date on there. I used the Tim Holtz from his ideology line, sorry about the glare, the plaquettes in the number 31 and I used a little E6000 along with hot glue to glue that down. I have some handmade black flowers in here and I also used some Wild Orchid Craft, the two-tone violet wild roses. They matched perfectly with this project. So I cut my, my witch's legs out. These are white pearls that I used a permanent marker to color and add to her feet. And then, as you'll see in the um, process video, I used some crepe paper. That's that party stream streamer paper. And I just um, used a black piece of paper, adhered it down. I just pleated the skirt. And then I went back through and I did three layers. In between each layer, I used some feathers that I had in my stash. So that might be hard to pick up. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see some detailed photos on the blog that'll give, show that a little bit better. In the very back I have a spider web, again cut out from the cameo. I have a creepy owl in there and that is a charm from Craft Supplies 1. I first painted it black and then I went over it with some silver paint. I used the same black that um, I used on the box, both by Apple Barrel. So this one's just regular black and then this one says pure silver. I went over that and then I added some small yellow rhinestones to it, adhered it down with some E6000. I added some of the handmade flowers and then the Wild Orchid Crafts flowers in here, the roses. And then I added a ticket that says Haunted House, Admit One. This also was cut out from the Cameo along with my spider that's hanging down. And then this here is also a Cameo cut of a broom. It's meant to the sucker, but um, I used it on here as you can see, and I added some jute twine around it. I added a key hole, 
And then on the top here, I again cut from the Cameo a witch hat, added some more flowers, and that's my entire project. I edged everything in black soot by Tim Holtz. I'll have the link down below for that, and I used a um, blender tool or blending tool for that. So I hope you enjoyed this project. This was super fun to make. I'm really enjoying using Graphic 45's um, matchbook boxes and their media boxes to do 3D projects. This will be fun to just set up on a, a coffee on my coffee table or a shelf for Halloween. So if you'd like to see the start to finish on this, then stay tuned. There will also be photos and links down in the description box below for the blog. There will be much better photos on the blog. So I hope you check that out. Thanks for watching.